Yo, I'm gonna overtake him while sitting. I'm gonna look so cool. Swag. First aid, yay. This is day two. It is still pretty swollen. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Friday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is my first serious, like somewhat serious, e-board accident. So let's get it. By the way, all the story time vlogs right here. Watch them all. But before we get started, love because how to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Yeah, check it out right here. That's the scar. It's not that big of a deal, but for me, it kind of was. It was enough of a big deal actually to sell my e-board. I sold it to Frankie. And yeah, he, I will do a separate vlog on his accidents. He had a few so far, but let's just get to, to the story. Whoa, this was actually like probably like three or four months ago already. I had a very long vlog pause and I thought it's a good idea to ride my board from my town all the way to Vienna to the training. Air track where I have these air track sessions and after a good 10 minutes of riding I thought hey, it's kind of tiring why not just sit down on the board and just drive while sitting I've never done this before and it's fairly hard to control the board in this position and I was going fairly fast and there were these there are just bumps on the road basically and after quite a bit of driving well actually I saw this guy and I was like yo I'm gonna overtake him while sitting I'm gonna look so cool swag and I guess like 50 meters after this guy I I hit one of these bumps and I was fairly fast. It wasn't top speed, but it was probably close. I hit this bump and then I got the speed wobbles and I wasn't able to control the board any longer. I wasn't able to get it back under my control and the speed wobbles got bigger and it kind of threw me off. The board went to the left and I don't know why, but I was like, I just wasn't able to kind of stand up and run or I just went like this face forward on the ground I was holding a remote like this. I landed on my hand and then I kind of smashed my head into the ground. It wasn't bad. I just scratched my glasses like right there. Can you see this? These little, these three scratches right here. And I had a, a slight bruise under my eye, but that was harmless. I also ripped my sock. <laughs> but yeah, compared to my hand, it was, it was fairly harmless. Let's get to the video. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, I drove while sitting and I'm basically fine except this hand right here. This hand is massively messed up. And maybe my face right here, but I don't think it's bad. But oh my goodness. Damn it. This is looking nasty. Oh yeah, safety shoes right here. So my socks got a bit messed up and I was basically driving like this. Just like that, and almost full speed. I got the speed wobbles and freaking fell off. And yeah, now I'm I'm hurting. Oh god, so stupid. I should have known better. So stupid. Okay, so my face is actually fine, but I messed up my freaking glasses though. Just washed my hand. This spot in the middle is not even bleeding. This is looking terrible. Oh, this is gonna be a nasty scar. First aid, yay. Funny enough, after that, I still had a pretty good training session. It wasn't hurting too bad. And I was like, hey, at least nothing broke, I guess. This will actually be the next vlog, so check it out right here. I didn't visit the hospital and I've, a lot of my friends said, what if it's broken? And then I, I was like, oh my God, whoa, whoa, you're right. What if it's broken? But then I was like, oh no, I had this training session and it's probably not broken because that would have hurt quite a bit, I guess. My knuckles are fine again. The only scar that's left is this and it's quite nice because it's a reminder of my stupidity telling me just don't be stupid Chris, just don't do it. And then I also documented my healing process. It's around four hours later and it's fairly swollen as you can see. But yeah, I think it's not, it's not too bad. But yeah, <sighs> it's nothing. This is day two, it is still pretty swollen. These little ones up here, they hurt way more than the big one. I think there are just no more nerves left. Mm. So that's at least something, I guess. Well, that's actually, no, that's bad. Mm, day six right here. Feeling twist the new poker phone, by the way. 
Rest in peace, Note 4. You will be missed. Alrighty, so this is day 8. I switched creams. Previously I was using this one, now I'm using this one. And this has a bit of antibiotics in, in it. But yeah, this little one up here in the left corner. No, it's still there. Damn it. Still there. Swelling? It's still swollen. Oh my goodness. It is Thursday, like it's exactly one week ago, but I'm counting the first day, so it's day eight. Anyways, that's crazy. These up here, they're looking way better. Okay, now it is Saturday. I just cleaned it. The tiny hole in the upper corner is almost gone. Swelling. Oh my goodness. Now it looks like a bug bite or something like that. Now it's more like local, local swelling. It is Sunday, day 11, and for the first time, it looks like that it's getting better because this fibrin mesh work, this yellow coating, seems to become smaller at the edges. This top corner thingy is pretty much gone. Swelling looks way better and yeah the edges are now more like reddish than yellowish and they are like they are pretty much good again yeah all right it is tuesday which makes it day 13 and it is starting to look really pretty good compared to what it looked like all the other days the outlines are now more pinkish than reddish this fibrin layer is Fading, these upper ones on the knuckles, pretty much gone. Another week maybe, I don't know. Okay, so it is the next day and after hours of having cream on my wound, uh, this fibrin layer is getting quite jelly and soft and I'm able to pull it off, but I don't think that I should. Anyways, it is Friday, day 16, and this thing is taking longer to heal, way longer to heal than expected. Just took a shower, by the way. It's kind of smushy, squishy. And by the way, this yellow line right here, this was the part, like this white, deep scratch or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we will see about this one. Oh my goodness, this is looking weird. I think I'm good. It's Saturday, by the way. Whoa, it's almost coming off. A few more days, probably. Day 21 after a shower. Okay, so it is Monday and this thing is about to come off. Check it out. I almost ripped it off two days ago and it's hanging on a thread, high a thread, whatever. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was easy. <laughs> Wow, yeah, that's, that's a, that's a crazy scar right there. Ugh. So yeah, it's all fine again. Nice memories, I guess. Compared to my guy Frankie, it's so harmless. By the way, maybe you're interested in more electric skateboard craziness. If so, this is the next vlog for you, I guess. These things are dangerous. There is no question about it. You can lose control quite fast and easily <laughs> if you're not focused. Ah, it's just... It's just such a stupid thing to do, especially without protections. And I'm just, I'm the kind of person I don't do protection. I love to wear my, ah, oh, jeez, ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> That's enough progress for today. Smash that like button the way my hand got smashed because I'm stupid. Gloves would have saved my skin quite a bit, I guess, but yeah, I'm just stupid. Eh? <laughs> Bang the bell, like, pa! Never miss story time vlogs. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>